my dear students assalamu alaikum here is our today's topic i shall be telling you about some basic rules that are supposed to be followed when you are converting the given direct speech into indirect speech let's first define these two terms direct speech and indirect speech the wave speech in which the actual words of the speaker are repeated is called direct speech or direct narration for example tina said i am very busy there is a special way of writing a direct speech in which the actual words of the speaker are written in inverted commas and the reporter is mentioned outside the inverted commas let's define indirect speech the way of speech in which only the substance of the speaker's speech is given is called indirect speech for example Tina said that she was very busy. There is also a specific way of writing indirect speech as I have written in this sentence. While converting the given direct speech into indirect speech, we bring out some changes. And I shall be telling you about those rules which govern those changes. Let me now define you these terms for you which are related to the direct speech the reporting speech and the reported speech The words outside the speech marks or the inverted commas are known as reporting speech and the words inside the speech marks or the inverted commas are known as reported speech For example he said i am going to lahore this sentence is written in direct speech so the words which are written outside the inverted commas are known as reporting speech he here is the subject of the reporting speech said here is the verb of the reporting speech and the words which are written in inverted commas or the speech marks are known as reported speech similarly i here is the subject of the reported speech here are some more important definitions which are related to the direct speech number 1 reporter the speaker is called the reporter number 2 reporting verb the verb which reports the words of the speaker is called the reporting verb and number 3 reported speech the speaker's words are called reported speech see the example george said i am ill now this sentence is the indirect speech george here is the reporter said is the reporting verb so you find the reporter and the reporting verb in the reporting speech and as i have told you earlier that the words inside the inverted commas which are the words of the speaker are known as reported speech let's move on and talk about some basic rules for conversion actually converting the given direct speech into indirect speech we follow some changes while converting a sentence from direct into indirect narration number 1 we change the person of pronoun 
Number two, we change tense. And number three, we change certain words or time phrases. We shall be talking about these three points or the rules for converting a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech. Let me first repeat some uh, points for you. I and we are known as the first person pronouns. You is known as the second person pronoun. And he, she, it and they are known as the third person pronouns. As I have told you that we need to change the person of pronouns. So I should be telling you that how can you convert or change the first, second and the third person pronouns while converting the given direct speech into indirect speech. The first person pronoun which is I, my, me, R and S, us, in the reported speech is changed according to the subject in the reporting verb. For example, he said, I am writing a letter to my friend. In this sentence, the reporting speech has the subject he and the reporting speech verb is said. If we talk about the reported speech in this sentence, I here is the first person pronoun in the reported speech. So according to the rule, the first person pronoun in the reported speech will be changed according to the subject of the reporting verb. So the subject in the reporting verb is he. We will change I, which is the first person pronoun, according to he. As I have told you earlier that he is the subject of the reporting verb. And I is the subject of the reported speech. So we will change I as well as my which is the first person pronoun according to he. Here is our answer or the indirect speech. He said that he was writing a letter to his friend. I have omitted the inverted commas and written that in place of that, which is the rule. We always omit commas while converting the direct speech into indirect speech. And in place of those commas, we write that in our indirect sentence. So following the rule, I have changed I into he. And I have changed my, which is the first person pronoun, into his, according to the rule. You, you need to notice also that who is talking to whom. He, he said, I am writing a letter to my friend. So he is talking to someone and he is saying that I am writing a letter to my friend. So you will convert it into the sentence and you will say, he said that he was writing a letter to his friend. Let's talk about the second person pronoun. The second person pronoun which are you and your in the reported speech is changed according to the object of the reporting verb. For example, Shahid said to me, you are a good fellow. In this sentence, Shahid is the subject of the reporting speech. Said is the verb of the reporting speech. Me here is the object of the reporting speech. So, we will change the reported speech and we will change the second person pronoun which is you according to the object of the reporting speech which is me. As I have told you, me is the object of the reporting verb and you is the subject of the reported speech. 
So we have to change you and our sentence will become Shahid told me that I was a good fellow. I have changed you into I according to the object of the reporting speech me. And you will have noticed one thing that I have written told me. So I have converted said to into told which is the rule. If we are given any object in the reporting speech we convert that according to the rule we convert said to into told. The second person pronoun in the reported speech is changed according to the object of the reporting verb as I have told you. But if the object of the reporting verb is not given, a suitable object is assumed. For example, I said you are not doing well. You can notice that there is no object in the reporting speech. So, while converting the second person pronoun you from the reported speech, we will assume that who is talking to whom. Notice and see that who is talking to whom. I said you are not doing well. And our sentence will become I said that he was not doing well. I have omitted commas and written that according to the rule. And I have assumed that who is talking to whom. And I have converted you into he. Understand the sense of the sentence. Let's talk about the third person pronoun. The third person pronoun which are he, him, his, she, her, hers, it, its, they, theirs and them in the reported speech are not changed. They remain the same. See the example. I said to her. He is not a good boy. He here is the third person pronoun in the reported speech. So it will remain the same in the indirect sentence. Here is the indirect sentence. I told her that he was not a good boy. Set to is changed into told. While converting a sentence from direct into indirect speech, we change certain words also. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, the words denoting nearness of time and place are changed into the words denoting distance. Now is changed into then. Just is changed into then. This becomes that. These becomes those. Tonight becomes that night. Thus becomes so. Ago becomes before. Here is changed into there. Tomorrow in the direct speech is converted into the next day in the indirect speech. Yesterday is changed into the previous day. The next week is changed into the following week. Today becomes that day. And last night becomes the previous night. Let's talk about the third rule which is the change of tense. You need to keep this thing in your mind that when you are converting the direct speech into indirect speech, the reported speech is always changed. And we change the tense. The tense of the reported speech is changed according to certain rules. And here are the rules. If the reporting speech is in present or future tense, for example, if it is written, he will say or he says. In case you have he says or he will say in your reported, reporting speech, and 
your reported speech is written in any tense you will not change the tense in the indirect speech if your reporting speech is in past tense which is he said or she said we said and if your reported speech is in present indefinite tense you will change the present indefinite tense into the past indefinite tense in the indirect speech if the reporting speech is in past tense which is again he said she said ya we said and if our reported speech is written in present continuous tense our indirect speech would have past continuous tense the present perfect tense will be changed into the past perfect tense the present perfect continuous tense will be changed into the past perfect continuous tense the past indefinite tense is changed into past perfect the past perfect continuous tense is changed into the past perfect continuous tense the past perfect and the past perfect continuous tense will not be changed and if we have shall will may or can as the modal verbs in our reported speech in the indirect speech we will convert these modal verbs into should would might and could Let's move on and talk about some more important points. The point number 1 says that if both the reporting verb and the reported speech are in the past tense, the verb in the reported speech remains unchanged as in the following examples. In case of some historical truth This rule means that in case of some historical truth if your reporting verb and the reported speech are in the past tense we will not bring out any change in the tense the tense will remain the same for example he said kadiazm died in 1948 the reporting speech he said and the reported speech kadiazm died in 1948 both these speeches are written in the past tense and in the reported speech you are talking about historical truth so following the rule we will not bring out any change in the tense of the reported speech here and our sentence will remain the same he said that Kadiazm died in 1948 You will have noticed that the tense has not been changed Here is the second point which says that if two connected actions are taking place in the past in the past at the same time are reported in the direct speech there is also no change in the tense of the reported speech For example he said when the game began it started raining the reported speech is written in the past tense so is the reporting speech and in the reported speech you can see that the two actions are taking place at the same time game began and started raining So according to the rule we will not change the tense it will remain the same you will say he said that when the game began it started raining here is the third point the tense of the reported speech is not changed into the past if it tells of some universal truth or habitual fact for example he said man is mortal so it is a universal truth that man is mortal so in such case 
the reported speech will remain the same and he will say he said that man is mortal you will have seen that i have not changed the tense as it is mentioned in the rule thank you so much for watching take care allah hafiz